Hey humans, Lena here again, as always. So today I want to talk about something that's kind of weird with my situation. As you all know from other videos, I have an extra set of ribs up here. You can see the weird shape of my neck, the bulge right there. I don't know if you can see it, but you can usually, yeah, you can see it right there. A little pulsating. That's from my extra ribs. I'm wearing my shirt backwards. <laughs> Oops. So, one thing I've found and that I'm really struggling to overcome is the fact that I got raised by an asshole who got it in my head that if you can do it by your hands, you should do it by your hands. You don't need tools. You don't need electronics to do stuff for you. Mm-hmm. Well, in the effort to stop this chronic pain and to lessen the symptoms, I've had to stop doing it, the things that I enjoy, like baking, cooking, and, well, cleaning. But what's the worst and weirdest thing is while I'm coming to terms with the fact that my neck bones, my spare ribs, have crippled what I'm capable of doing, the hardest thing is adapting and coming to terms with the fact that it is okay to use tools and machines to do the things that I want to do. It's, it should be easy to say that, but it's not. Because that's what abuse does. It screws the head. But yeah, I'm currently trying to figure out things that I can do to for cooking. I purchased a instant pot uh, several months ago, but I haven't used it yet. I'm still working on that. I mean, I have to ask someone to cook food for me. It's still not easy. Should be able to do it myself. I'm an adult, right? No. My disability, deformity, gets in the way. Even though I've had a lifetime of it and spent a lifetime doing damage to the nerves and blood veins. I now have to readapt and rediscover and learn that it is okay to use machines to get by. Electronics, devices, technology, it's okay to use those things. They're there to help make life easier, simpler, to help you to do what you want to do. And hard as it is, I'm working on it. I have a, I chopped onions for the first time a few days ago, last week. Yeah, last week in the, in a food processor, instead of using a knife because my hands will shake, twitch, and I'll drop stuff. I've cut myself before, not good. <laughs> but hey, you know what? There are lots of different devices out there that are that exist to help people with disabilities and deformities. And just because I was raised by an asshole who would sooner make his children suffer so that they can be strong. What kind of fucking parent does that? I'm now dealing with a lot of crap. And crappy ideas that I got put in my head. Anyway, moving on, please remember that what's going on right now in the Ukraine is serious. If you have any spare money, donate to, the, to any of the multiple programs that are helping to assist those people. They need the help. And if you happen to know anybody in Russia who's got an open mind, share with them the fact that's going on. Putin's a war criminal. He bombed a maternity hospital. Babies died. That's the fact. And it is not okay. Anyway. Spare ribs? Out. <laughs>